Alright, hi collective. I'm sorry. The camera, I hit the stop button by accident. So um here we go. My Palo Santo is is relit. Alright. Clear the energy. So the last the third oracle card. And then I'm going to give the message, okay? Okay. Much gratitude. Messages to the collective. Um, one more thing. If you have a problem with my cursing, with profanity, then you need to go check thyself and know thyself because my father, the most high, want us to be authentic. Now, there's a time and a place for everything, granted, right? But I find that the ones that don't curse, they be like, oh, I don't curse. You just said fuck. This, that, and the third. Those be the wicked motherfuckers. Those be the low-key demons moving. Trust me. I know what I say. Much gratitude to the spiritual elements of light. Messages for the collective. Tora, tora, tora. Salah. Sorry, collective. That's how I'm sitting. Shadow. Ooh. Nice messages collective. I'm gonna show you the cards, okay? Get the book. Let me take it straight from there. It amazes me that Shadow fall under Wizard of Awareness. That's it fell under the card to um to know thyself, like to observe, to be still, and, and to receive, right? So so the last card was shadow. Can y'all see that? Shadow, right? Here we go. I'm gonna start the spread. So the second spread is heart chakra. That fell under ghost lands. Being in the here and now, the present. got to open your heart chakra it's crazy how these cards are it's, a, it's magical like i'm pulling them and i'm like ah <laughs> right <laughs> the second card was movement choices and decisions i call this card seven of cups because it's talking about the different options one has and this card amazingly came under the magical map shifter knowing your path getting on your path Trying to determine what way you're going to go on this journey. Your journey and your life. Your soul. The life you incarnated to serve a purpose to the most high. Doing so is going to come with some choices. The paths. These are different paths. Which path are you going to take? I'm going to read straight from the book, right? And then shadow. Is this Y'all don't know nothing about shadow. So shadow... Okay, so you see this card? This is a duality card, right? I speak intuitively too. This is the light side, the good side of self, looking at the dark side of self, right? We all got light and dark inside of us. That's the balance. Everything got a balance. But it's when you let the shadow over overtake your light. That's the problem. Shadow fell right under... Being still and silent to observe. And what is this card doing? He's observing his self. He went within meditation. And I said this card was to meditate, to go within. One and eight is nine. You got to go within to complete your journey, to know how to complete the journey. So I'm going to read from the book now. Gratitude, Papa, Abba, to the messages that is being, for, being, being brought forth to the collective at this time. As this is their beginning journey, as this is my first video, tarot upload. I pull cards, I normally post pictures, but this is my first tarot upload. <laughs> and it's the beginning of my journey too. So, four is the heart chakra. And that's coming under... Let me go straight to
the index. I'm sorry. It's taking me a minute to pull it. So when I just like reading straight from the book so I can give you the you know the true interpretation because every card has its own meaning. So this is a chakra card. I don't know if you guys know about your chakra. I'm gonna do a separate upload on chakra. But every human vessel has seven chakra. It begins with one, which is the red chakra, which is the root chakra, that's your foot. Your foot be planted on the ground, which is Gaia. Up from the root chakra is your sacral chakra, that's your sexual chakra, your creativity. When they talk about creativity, they're talking about sex. It's marked coded words. Your sacral energy, that chakra is color orange. Moving up from the sacral chakra, we got your solar plexus chakra. The solar plexus chakra is the yellow chakra. Ah, it's crazy because I'm seeing chakras in this card, right? So, the yellow chakra is your heart, is your um, solar plexus. That's your gut. That's your intuition. That's that gut feeling you get. That's like when something bad is about to happen over here, stand up on the back of your head type of energy, right? It's all about energy. Up from the solar plexus chakra is your heart chakra, which is the green. Up from the heart chakra is the blue chakra, which is the throat chakra. Up from the throat chakra is your penile gland, your third eye. That's purple, right? And up and there's one more. And after the purple is your crown chakra. You see how he has light on his head? The light is on his crown. You see? Here, it's a moon. So it's sunlight on his crown. Here, and the shadow side is the moon. Hidden. Darkness. Okay? The crown is covered by light. So who's covering your crown? Is your crown being covered by light? Right now, collective? Right now, here in the present? Or is your crown being covered by darkness? Hidden. Unseen. Secrets. Darkness, demonic energy, low vibrational frequency, collective. And this is what Papa is saying. You need to go within the portal. You see that I said this is a portal. This is a, this is a portal right here. How you get into this portal to observe and study self, knowing thyself through meditation, heavy meditation, Ground, walk in nature, hug a tree, walk barefoot in the grass, sit next to a lake, a stream, a pond, the river, go to the beach, sit under the sunlight. Everything positive is controlled by light energy. Okay? So I'm going to read the cards. Beautiful. I think I'm going to stop right here because I don't want the video to be too long. I think, I think this the message is clear and precise to what it is so we're going to start with the heart chakra 159 unless papa tell me to go further then i'll go further okay but i'm gonna ask heart chakra key facts green sound yum so i do a lot of um vibrational um when you do that you say that that by that word that sound it makes your face like tremble, your teeth. You feel kind of itchy because it's like you feel that vibration. That's the vibration of the most high. There's different vibrations, okay? So the sound yum is going to help with your heart chakra to open your heart chakra. The element is ear. So ear to me is mental, swords. Keywords I love, okay? Parallel to the heart, the chakra represents unconditional love, compassion, harmony, relationships, and healing. It's believed to be the link between your mind, body, and soul. Balancing this area may take a while, but you should allow all the time you need so the healing energy can get through and flow freely by loving yourself. How are you going to love yourself, collective? You're going to love yourself by staying in the present, staying in the here and now, okay? 
heart chakra is telling you stay in the here and now is gonna love your is gonna love thyself because you're focusing on right now what you could do right now to get you on your what on your path right you're starting your soul journey with the most high right now right now whenever you see this video your journey is starting you're awakening okay all right collective so it says balancing this area may take a while but you should allow all the time you need so the healing energy can get through and flow freely by loving yourself and others as well as learning forgiveness you become more attuned with spirit all right so i'm gonna share a little bit i'm a divine feminine and i have a divine masculine i'm gonna be so raw and uncut truth for y'all okay i came to this earth to save him to awaken him as i am awakening your collective onto your path with the most high on this journey now nothing comes nothing good just understand nothing good comes easy we have to put in the work we have to put in the dedication the time the energy the motivation to achieve you can't just sit in your house and sit on your ass and think everything is going to come to you that's not how this shit work you got to put energy into it you got to make the effort you got to seek, seek the knowledge, try to educate yourself, follow the path, the crumbs, and I'm going to help guide you. So anyway, into unconditional love. So my DM was with a karmic, right? She's like a, a stripper, a sex goddess, I, excuse me, a sex dark goddess, right? And he teamed up with her to kill me. Like, I mean, I'm going to post my... um. My YouTube page on Instagram, but if you go on my Instagram page, y'all can follow this story. I had to bring this, 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 what I was going through out in the open. Because not only they were trying to kill me, he tried to sacrifice me to Satan. I know it sounds crazy, but it's the, it's the fucking truth. Like, I, I tell you no lies, okay? Coco for life ain't gonna ever tell y'all no lies. I don't clout trace. I don't need to do none of that shit because I am who I am and who I'm sent here to be. With that said, I have to embody unconditional love knowing that he tried to sacrifice me. He tried to switch my destiny with his whore, right? And they actually put murder hit on me. I know, and I'm like, but how can you still love this person? Because that's what unconditional love is. Unconditional love is to love despite whatever, however that person is. If that person is gay, bi, straight, purple, pink, a murderer, a killer, a lover, uh, however, whoever that, that vessel is, that's my twin. I mean, now, don't get it wrong. Unconditional love don't mean you got to stay around them and put up with their bullshit. That's not unconditional love. Unconditional, you can love from afar. You understand? And send them love and light. Namaste. So, that's just my little, my little truth that I'm sharing. My story is crazy. <laughs> it's, just a, it's a movie. You heard? <laughs> Moving on to number two. <laughs> Movement. And choices, decisions. Because we all got choices. We all got choices on this path, right? The thing is, what choice, what decision you going to make? Because we all got choices, decisions. That's going to allow us to move forward or stay stagnant. And that's real shit, right? So number two. Uh, I hit the doo -doo 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 -doo. movement and choices. That's one energy. It's the minor arcana. Like I said, seven of cups. 75. Okay. So 75. Movement and choices, decisions. This card indicates a time of movement. You see how magical the Most High is? 
it's so magical, magical, right? It's under the journey, knowing the path. Everything aligns. All right, this card indicates a time of movement, significant changes, and choices must be made. With hard work, ah, great effort and determination, you have the ability to juggle all the demands that are, that are in front of you. Whether they concern money, business decisions, or other projects, it's important to stay flexible and focused. You don't have to do it alone. You do it the most high. Reach out for the best advice and assistance. How do you get assistance? You could go through tarot, praying, meditating. I call going within, all right? I'll come to a channel, something, come to a channel like mine's or others that's out there, light workers that are here to help you all get on your path onto your life journey, collective. In addition, a financial union or partnership may present itself to you. The more time you take to make these vital decisions and choices, see, don't be impulsive about these choices. Sleep on it, pray on it, meditate on it. Don't just be quick to do shit. Stop, be still, observe, go it in. Look into yourself, all right? Don't ever let somebody make you feel pressured to make a choice. Go to the divine for clarity, right? The more time you take to make these vital decisions and choices, the longer it, the longer it will be before you can move towards, wait, the more time you take to make these vital decisions and choices, the longer it will be before you can move toward your goals in the physical material world or material realm. The changes that are emerging aren't some random acts or coincidences. They're all part of a positive and larger scheme. Notice the connections with everything as this will enable you to avoid future problems and conflicts. So in short, you do something quick, it's gonna crash and burn. Slow and steady wins the race. Take your time on your life choices. Don't be in a rush, but then still don't be stagnant on that shit. You see what I'm saying? Pray and meditate. I would say give it 24 hours, 48 hours tops. Pray and meditation. And you're gonna know, all right? It's your one life. We all got one life to live, right? What you gonna do? All right, collective. So moving on to shadow. Shadow, hold on. Shadow, where is shadow? Oh, here it is. Major, oh, Major Arcana, 61. Okay. This card represents emotion, sensitivity, and a reminder that nothing in life is at a standstill. This is a world of constant flux. And one thing is certain, everything changes. This card is calling you to action. The time is now when you may have to face your worst fears and look into the dark shadows of your soul. You must learn to confront what you've avoid it and walk courageously through it always know that life naturally revitalizes itself and as it does so do you the shadow card promises that the shadow card promises that there's light at the end of the tunnel recognize that by no longer denying your past and letting the tears fall you discover the diamonds in the treasure chest of your soul so cry purge whatever hurts you whatever fucked your mind up right like me the, the the masculine the karmic and all that that f shit cry that shit out crying is not being weak crying is purging your soul you gotta release that energy out of you so you can push forward i'll say would bury you real shit all right it's like having a bag of rocks on you and jumping into the ocean you'll sink 
So let that shit out. Cry. Purge. All right? This is a cleansing process to wash away and clear out what was once avoided, ignored, or pushed aside. You just can't make this shit up. Shut up. Don't say nothing. I'm recording my first YouTube video. Don't say nothing, please. Don't say nothing. Please, please, please. I'm sorry, collective, my son. Please. This card indicates that this is a time when your psychic sensitivity may be quite intense. Learn to open up to it or if need be to turn it down. Huh? Don't ever turn down your psychic ability. That's that fuck shit. See, the truth is always mixed with it. be like 90% truth and like a little 5, 95, 10%. No, 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 no. Get off that damn phone. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Sorry, my son. He he, fifteen on a sixteen. But anyway, he has he doesn't understand spirituality and divination and thinks it's a big joke. And he's really a king, a pharaoh from the past life. But anyway, he's gonna have his feminine to awake him to his truth. Salah, salah. So back to the shadow card. This card indicates that this is a time when your psychic sensitivity may be quite intense. Learn to open up to it or if need be to turn it down. Look, personally, in my personal opinion, I never turn down my psychic ability. Why? Because it's my protection. I'm very in tune. The animals talk to me. I talk to animals. I talk to trees. I'm very tapped in with the universe. All right? To turn off your psychic ability would be to turn off your intuition. All right. So anyway, this as they are the whoever created this card, this is their words and their inter interpretation of the energy. But this is the moon card and the the tarot. It's a major arcana. Okay. Your body is one big psychic antenna. So just remember that you're in control of how high or how low you want the reception to be. Mother Earth. Gaia can assist you in this period of change, sensitivity, and healing. And it tells you the traditional tarot archetype is the moon. What's hitting? All right, collective. So I'm going to wrap it up right here. All right. It was my pleasure. This is Coco for Life signing out. Namaste. Loving light to the great divine. Sela, Sela.